Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Well, I was going to weld on this 16 gauge steel over here. So I was going to try out the longevity 250 MP MIG welder and play with the pulse settings a little bit. With this digital control panel, you know, lots of little different settings that you can get into. So still trying to wrap my brain around how the pulse functions on this machine work. So you see right now we're in 2T, which means you pull the trigger, it welds, you let it go, it stops. Over here you see that it's in this pulse mode. And where's the button? And then you can set things like your pre-flow. Get back over there. The next setting up is uh, arc force. I don't know why. We're not running stick, we're running MIG. Not sure why it went there. So we'll just skip over that one. And then the welding current. And because we're just welding on 16 gauge, you know, I think I'm going to turn this one down a little bit. The burn back. So the burn back time, that's just where when you let go of the trigger, the machine sends just a little bit of current through the wire to burn back the uh, to burn back the end of the wire and get it to the right length. And that's what the burn back does. You can set it to how far of a stick out you want on it. So what the heck, let's try it. Let's see what those settings are like. You know, if they're, if they're a little too hot, a little too cold, I'll come back over and adjust it a little more. Make a little weld with just a single pulse. Remind us why the pulse is good, Kev. What it's, what's it for? Well, the pulse welding is just that. You've got, you know, you've got your welding current, and then it drops down. It stays down at a lower current for a little while, and then pops back up again. What that does, what, what that allows is, now if you're working on a thinner metal, like this 16 gauge, uh, it allows you to have a high enough current to make the weld, but then it drops down a little, it gets a little colder, so you don't just blow right through. So you can weld thinner metals, a little higher amperage, get a little better weld out of it, less blow through, you know, less warpage, you know, it, it, it just helps a little. So let's see what, what we get up here. work pretty good. Uh, give me a take a look at it. Yeah, you, when I, I ran the, the first set over in here, ran another bead across in here, and had some interesting results. You see, here's where I started out. A little, a little slow in my forward movement, thank you. <laughs> it's early. But then you can see where I got moving in here. Flattened out real nice. This section in here was just where I had a, a couple little boo-boos in a weld I'd done earlier. So I just wanted to run across the top of them, fill them in, and then just grind it all down. And then this section in here was just like this, where it was just the two open sheets and just run right across the top of it. So that's what pulse is for. That's what pulse gets you, is that kind of, that kind of weld, that kind of effect. Let you work on you know, the thin edges that way. So I'm going to play with it some more. You know, We'll try that double pulse another time once I figure out how to set it. Speaking of setting things, don't forget that subscribe button down there somewhere. I'm going to go back to this. We'll see you later. What are you doing there? Trying to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs>